Paul's Fish Room 2021. It's the end of December and I thought it was about time I'd added another video to my channel. The last one being 2019. Let's start on the right hand side. Top tank. In this tank there are some two month old Uncausia coste youngsters. This is half the brood, there was about 40 in the brood and half are in this tank growing up. I still have some 16 by 8 by 8 tanks and they're slowly being replaced by 16 by 16 8 inch tanks. These are the last two and they're going to be replaced in the new year. Moving along. Some Montezuma swords. And for those of you who have seen my previous videos, I do not <laughs> always have Montezumas growing on in my fish room. These are the first youngsters I've had growing on in a couple of years. Also, in this tank, there is some substrate on the bottom, which is very unusual for me, but that's for the guppy grass, as i found the guppy grass doesn't survive in bears on bare bottom tanks. Middle row on the right, some moss green tiger barbs, they just look black in this tank. The lighting is very poor. There's just a light in one of the corners and you cannot see the green iridescence on these fish. But if you look on the channel you'll see there's a, a video on these fish being bred. Moving along. This at the moment has been a hospital tank. There's a female Rio Nanny Angel that I've just wormed. It seems okay now, it's putting on weight and eating okay. And there's some guppies in there just as did the fish to make it feel more comfortable. Right hand tank. There's a breeding pair of Rio Nanny. Angels, these are the pair that I've done a video of on the channel, raising the youngsters. There's an old male veil tail koi angel and some smoky juveniles. There's a male and two females in here. And also some festive cichlids. There's actually four of them. I bought them about a month ago and they've almost doubled in size since. Hopefully I'll get a pair out of the floor. Moving down. Tank with half a dozen juvenile Manakapur redback angels in and a male Rio Nanny. And also again some juvenile Smoky Angels. If you look on the channel again, there's an, a video showing those. Moving along, female Rio Nanny Angel. Short top fin. This was a female of another of my breeding pairs, and the male turned on her. Tora fins and her dorsal is just growing back now. He'd lived with this female for a few months and they got on really well and then just one day he turned on her. Pair of wild Leary Grammys. Again on the channel there's a video of them breeding.
some Koi Angels, male bell tail and a female standard fin. I like raising the young Koi Angels, they're very pretty when they're young. Moving along, top tank empty, unusual for me, light switched off. So my small breeding tanks are mostly full of more moss green tigers, babies, about 40 in this spawning. And those of you who've seen some of my previous videos will notice that I've replaced some of the horrible blue LED lights for white ones. Breeding tank set up for some Coste Tetras. You can just see the mop on the right hand side and some tails sticking out. I'm going to cover the front of this tank because the fish get very nervous in my fish room. It's only small and they won't spawn with me moving in and out. So this will be covered up before I go to bed tonight. Moving down, a couple of tanks with some lyotail guppies. Just taking up tank space, I'm afraid. I'm going to get a shot of these as soon as I can. Moving up, some more young Coste tetras, the other half of the spawn nice fish to raise because they love the food. Let's put my fingers on this tank to see if they come off for food. I love raising fish that enjoy the food. Moving along. More guppies I'm afraid. And an old male super reptile cat. He's a couple of years old now, I'm afraid, so not much longer for him. More guppies. And in this tank we've got a Half Moon Super Red. Male better. Not a very strong fish, I'm afraid. I thought it'd be okay for breeding in the future, but it's not looking like it. Moving along, some more Montezumas. Hopefully they'll be gone in the next couple of weeks. And a sex pair of albino hoplos. Tried breeding them a couple of times during 2021. Not had any luck. And I've bred hoplos before. I've bred a couple of other species with no problems, but not albinos. I'll add a short video clip to the end of the fish room to show you them with a nest. Moving down to bird tanks, fish look very bland, they look totally different in planted tanks. There's actually in this tank there's some red sided barbs, the bimaculatus, Pontius bimaculatus, two spot barbs, males, there's three Montezuma swords, there's some male blueberry tetras and male costa tetras. Can't see them very well in here I'm afraid. Females in here, female, there's one female costa tetra. I have another one, she's in a breeding tank at the moment. There's a female bimaculata as well and some female blueberry tetras moving along. Another hospital tank with a female Montezuma sword, feeling sorry for herself. Attacked by a male, tore her tail, she's being treated at the moment, hopefully she'll pull around. And some of my young blueberry tetras. In a planted tank, these are really colourful fish. In a bird tank, they look very bland. Another relatively recent find in the kerosene world. Down below, there's 
some young adult koi and smoky angels and there's one male and two female older manakapur redbacks and also there's a group of ace anostomus anostomus looking for food i'm thawing some food out for them at the moment so when i finish this video i'll come in again and feed them another tank more young adult koi and young adult smokies there's also the last of my red-eyed tetra youngsters originally that i put them in here as a dither fish i might breed them again just to make a video of them breeding and that's about it but i'll I'll put an add on to the end of this short video of some of the other fish that have gone through the fish room in 2021. And that's it for now. Bye bye.